In the end. Y'all see the title. <clears throat> this is going to be real quick. Please, please build me an audience. Facebook, build me an audience. I know so many people are going to catch the replay. Guys, you got to excuse my voice. I uh, had a great time Saturday evening. And as you can see, still recovering from it. Please, please, please make sure that you get your friends on here. Make sure you get your your uh, work associates on here. If you're in sales, you need to get on here now. I will give everybody a second to please share this. Do that now. Please do it now. If you are a part of our business, you need to share this now. You need to get as many people on here as possible. Do you have agents? Do you have sub agents? Do you have people that are struggling in your business? Put them on this video right now. All right, we're going to start it because I got an appointment I got to get to. But anyway, guys, um, you, you see the title to the call. Let, let me turn Bruno Mars down real quick because Bruno be getting it. Mm, mm, it's my song. Um, all right, guys, so we had a call this morning. And uh, if you're not a part of our business, we have a call every single morning at 7 a.m. Uh, it's called The Breakfast Club where we talk about the business. We, uh, not now, but... Not now, but right now. Yes, sister, that's what I'm talking about. Um, but we have a club, uh, a call every single morning. It's called the Breakfast Club. It's a, it's a call to motivate you. It's a call to inspire you. It's a call to give tips and tricks of the business. It's a call to uh, get out stories that will inspire people, different things like that. And they had, a, they had a topic this morning that a lot of people contact me about all the time. Uh, talking about rebuttals and objections and how to get in the door during these tough times, quote unquote, right? When people are really worried about the holidays and money may be, quote unquote, tight around the house. Um, but a lot of people were just wondering, you know, how do you do it? How, how do you get in the door or what rebuttals do I need to use to get in the house and actually get a sale? Well, if you're on this video right now and you're not a part of our business, please do not shut it off. All right. This is going to be for anybody that's in sales, this is for any business owner, this is for anybody that is looking to achieve, all right, looking to truly, truly achieve. And um, achievement is not just in dollars, right? Achievement is not just in success or awards or anything like that. It could be in different parts of your life where you're looking to grow. So the first caveat that I'm going to give, and oh my goodness, it took so much patience for me not to interrupt GB, Gabe Brown this morning, and uh, interrupt everybody else because you guys know I love this topic so much. Um, I, I've spent at least the last three and a half, four years of my life really, really, really diving into mentality, diving into uh, the psychological part of growth. Because for years and years and years, it just used to boggle my mind how someone who has the same exact makeup uh, could either be very, very poor or, or very wealthy. And, and not just from a financial sense, from, you know, from a spiritual sense and relationship standpoint and physical health and different things like that. So let me get into it. Yes, there's a secret, all right? There is, in fact, a secret to sales, all right? Um, if you're on this video right now, if you're a part of our business, come on, man, you know what I do in the business, all right? I, I've been very, very blessed and fortunate to be able to uh, excel in this business, do extremely, extremely well, but yes, there is a secret. The secret is the company gives me all the Glen Gary leads, That's the secret. I, I get all the best leads. No, I'm just playing. So anyway, um, all right, so here's the secret. Here's the true, true secret. D do you want to know? Do you want to know what the secret is to sales? Well, I'm going to tell you. Your income is going to be in direct correlation to your personal growth. I don't care how you try to slice it. I don't care how you try to break it down. Your income is going to be in direct proportion to your personal growth. I get so many people that reach out to me and they ask for the tips, for the tricks to to for me to give them to, <clears throat> for me to give them some type of magic pill, right? And how they're going to make six figures this year or how they're going to get to seven figures, guys. Your income is going to be in direct proportion to your personal growth. You cannot exceed that. I don't care how well you do one month. 
I don't care how well you do six months. If you have not grown into the type of person that can receive the income that you've been asking for, you will never, ever obtain it. Period. Period. So, I ask you, no matter what industry you're in right now, your industry is going to, it is going to pay you, right? It is going to pay you directly based on your value to the marketplace. So right now, if you're working a $10 an hour job, that is what you are worth to your marketplace. Not what you are worth. All right. Understand that it is not what you personally are worth. It is what you are worth to your marketplace. If you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year, that is what you are worth to your marketplace. If you're making a million, so forth and so on. So someone asked, well, how do I get there? How do I get there? Start with this. You must have a magnificent obsession. All right. Uh, Grant Cardone, one of my mentors from afar, he just put out a book. Uh, it says, be, a be obsessed or be average. Now, a lot of the stuff that he puts out, it really rubs people the wrong way, but I feel like it's because they're weak. Be obsessed with something. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. People are afraid to be obsessed about their thing. Well, why is it your thing? What is your name even synonymous with? <laughs> you were doing this thing last year. You were doing that thing the other year. You got this side business going on. You're also known for this, that, and the third. What are you really known for? Well, guess what? You're not being paid the way you truly want to be paid because you don't know your industry. You know a little bit. You know a little bit. Guys, in psychology, it's called the four levels of learning. All right, please, please take this in, understand it, and apply it. The four levels of learning. You cannot avert this. You cannot get around this. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what your profession is. I don't care if you're in sales. I don't care if you're construction. I don't care if you're in real estate. I don't care if you're uh, looking to be the best basketball player you could be. I don't care if you're looking to play football. You will go through your four levels of learning. Babies do it. When they're learning how to walk, when you're learning how to drive, you have to go through this process. Step one, unconscious incompetence. It's called unconscious incompetence. This is the level that you get to when you look at the profession that you may be interested in and you begin to see some of the groundwork that must be laid for you to even jump into that industry. This is where you don't know what you don't know. Unconscious incompetence. Everyone starts at this level. Everyone. I don't care who you are or what industry it is or what you're looking to achieve. The next level. Conscious incompetence. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're starting to see. Now we're starting to see. You know, if you're a part of our business, you get a chance to see the presentation. You get a chance to see your door approach. You get a chance to see the, the presentation book. You get a chance to see uh, the flyers and the type of things that our clients receive in order to inquire about our product. You're, you're starting to know a little bit, but you do not know. I heard my mentor once say that time reveals all things, Right? You must be willing, first of all, after having this desire, to be patient because you have to go through these three processes. Steph Curry went through it. Michael Jordan went through it. Anybody that you know is a high achiever at some level has gone through this process. So first we have unconscious incompetence. You don't know what you don't know. Conscious incompetence. Now you know that you're ignorant to some things. After a, after a process of time, after you going through the process and you and you getting out there and you doing the work and doing the work and you're doing the work and you're asking the right questions, right? And you're getting a chance to see, okay, I'm getting this response from this individual based on this subject and I'm reading more books, right? Information changes situations. A lot of you are not achieving to your to, to the best of your ability because you're ignorant to what you need to know. You you haven't humbled yourself to say, you know what? There is something I don't know. I don't care what level you're at, you, there's always something to learn. It's never, oh, I got it. When, when I hear people say that to me, that's, that's so disrespectful. Oh, I get it. I get it now. No, no. I've come to a better understanding, but you never get it. Next level. Conscious competence, right? So you're getting pretty good. You got, you got to the Kyrie Irving level at Duke, 
right? Right. You're doing pretty good with this. You're doing pretty good. You know, Kyrie's killing it. You know, uh, you, you know what you're doing. You're not quite, you're not quite to the, to the Tiger Woods, right? You're not quite to, to doing it in your sleep. You still got to ask a couple of questions. You still got to look around at your notes, but then you get to a level over time and over practice of unconscious competence. That's when you can do it in your sleep. I think I posted something not too long ago. Um, Nick Saban said, uh, you don't, you don't, you don't practice to get perfect. Uh, man, what, what was it that I said? I believe it was, you don't practice to get perfect. You practice to not fail. Right? Guys, you're not doing it over and over and over and over and over again to, to be able to do it well. You do it over and over again so you don't miss. If you're a part of our business, this is directed towards you. Do not call me and you're in your car driving and I say, hey, listen, give me your presentation. Let me see what you're doing wrong. And you say, hey, listen, let me pull over first. Or, or you know what, let me grab my presentation book. Or, or, or give me a second. Give me, no. What do you know? This is your livelihood. There's some people watching this right now that are a part of our business. Uh, there's a gentleman watching this that makes million and million and multi-million dollar homes, right? Incredible, incredible guy, right? Um, I had a chance to have breakfast with him not too long ago and immediately, uh, I know you guys have heard the analogy of a fish out of water, right? When a fish is out of water, it's flaring about and it, it looks crazy. Not saying that he does, but as soon as you get that fish into its natural environment, right? As soon as you get that fish into uh, what it's used to, that water, you see its spirit glow. We went to breakfast. We had a chance to work out. But the minute this guy got in inside his million dollar home he was building, there was a, a spirit about him that he knew what he was talking about. He was so passionate about what he was telling me about. I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know the, the vernacular right now, but he, he, he was so passionate. He was so loving about what he was doing. You're not being paid the way you want to be paid because you don't love it. Straight up. You don't love it. You love the money. You love the idea of getting rich. But you're not truly, truly in love with what you do. If you were, then you would know. If you truly were, you would know. Do you know your presentation like the back of your hand? Rebuttals? Stop it. Stop asking me about rebuttals. Yeah, I got a, you know, you want to know why I have a rebuttal for everything? Because Damon put in the work. Because Damon is humble. I understood humility is not a personality trait. It's just simply recognizing that you don't have something, period. I recognize that I'm not living exactly where I want to live right now, that I'm not driving exactly what I want to drive right now, that I'm not the man that I truly have been gifted by God to be right now. So guess what? There's some people in those positions that can give you the information. Humble yourself. Rebuttals. Go through those four processes of learning, and I promise, by the process of time, you're going to know how to respond. And last but not least, guys, put it in the work. Put it in the work. If you're not succeeding in what you're doing right now, you're not focused. You're not focused at all because you're not putting in the proper amount of work. It's one thing to be busy. It's another thing to be productive. We got a lot of busy people out here. We got a lot of people that have been organizing for the past year. How long are you going to put down a plan? How many more days are you going to write down your plan? How many more days are you going to try to get organized before you get to work? Am I yelling at you? Absolutely. Because somebody on here needs to hear this. The biggest person that needs to hear this is the person I'm looking at right now on this screen. Guys, get to work. That's right, baby. That's why I fall in love with you every day. Fall in love with the process. Put in the work. Come on, guys, what else do you want? You want the red pill, the green pill, the blue pill? You want the Glen Gary leads? You want it to be easier for you? I want you to understand something else, and I know I'm going a little long, but this is very important. Understand any test, tr trial, or tribulation that you're experiencing right now, you will continue to experience until you pass the test. Until you pass the test, you will continue to experience the same trials, the same tribulations, the same things that are looking to quote unquote take you out. 
Why are you frustrated? Why are you frustrated? Because you're not grateful. Because if you are truly grateful for the opportunity that you're in right now, I don't care what you're doing. We all have something, right? Um, my, my, uh, one of my spiritual mentors from afar, um, Ivy Hilliard, uh, he spoke about the example of Moses. And I told, told this to somebody else, right? Uh, Moses had, had led everyone out of Egypt and, and, and they got to the Red Sea. Um, and, and I believe it was the Red Sea. Forgive me if I'm wrong. All these spiritual people are here. They got to the Red Sea. He's at the Red Sea. He can either lead them to drowning to death. Or the, it, or, the, uh, or, or the Egyptians that are behind them are going to surely kill them, right? So everybody's looking at Moses, this, this godlike feature uh, who's, who's led them out of slavery, who's led them uh, to freedom. And now they're like, what are we going to do now? Moses, what are we going to do now? And, and of course, he, he, th this, this godlike gentleman, he looks at him, he says, basically, stop being scared. Stop being scared. Have I not led you to this point? Has God not led you to where we are now? Be quiet. And then he looks to God and he says, um, what now? <laughs> he says, what now? And a lot of you right now are saying, man, what now? Man, I'm working this job that I don't really love. What now? Man, I got this opportunity that I'm not really excelling at because I don't know what... <laughs> Because I don't know how to, how to respond to objections. What now? What now, God? And Moses looked to the heavens and he was like, you know, I, I'm not sure what to do. And, and God was like, yeah, that was a really great speech. Yeah, I like what you're doing there. But what are you going to do now? So you're at a standstill with God asking God, hey, I, I've, I've been praying. I've been, I've been doing everything that you've asked me to do. I, I've been following through on my ties. What now? And guess what God said? God said, what did I give you? He said, what is in your hand? He said, what is in your hand? The same miracles that you perform time and time again with what you have in your hand, how have you used that? God wanted Moses to take a step with what he had already been gifted with. The staff that was in his hand. Guys, what staff or miracle has been working in your life for years that you have forgot about? Is it your voice? Is it your appearance? Is it your love? Is it your, your passion? Is it your energy? What are you not being grateful for? You know, I, I, um, I spoke to a good friend of mine this weekend and he was experiencing some, some difficulties and you know, I just wanted to encourage him to stay focused because anytime that you're not focused, you're going to see a lot of distractions and you're going to run into some trials and tribulations. It just happens. Right. I think there's a uh, I don't know if it's a Bible verse or maybe a meme, but it says that uh, um, idle hands are the devil's workshop. Right. So if you're not busy, you're probably getting yourself into trouble some type of way. And um, I, I just encouraged him. I said, man, you got to stay focused. Anytime you run through any trial or tribulation, first of all, before you, before you sin again, before you say something crazy like it's not fair or why is this happening to me or I can't do this, right? Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. So anything that you're experiencing right now, you've spoken into your life. Why not be grateful? Oh my God, you know, you know what? I could get in a car accident right now, but guess what? I just experienced that. Hello? I experienced that. <laughs> and you know what? I, I went my entire day and I had 14 doors slammed in my face and was cursed out at every door. Wow. Oh God. Oh, really? I experienced that. You're experiencing life. What are you not being grateful for? Come on, guys. It's all included in achievement. So everybody trying to figure it out all. Well, what's the magic rebuttal? What's what's the magic? What's the magic pill? You know what? I'm looking right here. What's going on, Chad Lewis? What's going on, Neil Hadley? What's going on, Jessica Parker? What's going on, August Jack? What's going on, Nikki? I just named off six people that are achieving over six figures a year. Many of them much higher than that because they stopped with the Sorry, with the excuses. Stop with the excuses. You're experiencing what you need to experience right now for your growth. All right? Guess what? If you couldn't experience that, then that means that you are not alive. 
Everything that you're going through and growing through is preparing you for exactly what God has for you. Matter of fact, for exactly what the desires of your heart are. I asked to be a multi-millionaire. How could I possibly walk into millions of dollars and be the Damon I am today? Hello? How can you possibly walk to your achievement being the person you are today? Because if you were that now, you wouldn't be asking for that because you'd already have it. So quit being confused. Quit using your excuses as a crutch. You're playing. 2017 is less than three weeks away. What are you grateful for? <laughs> I heard my mentor say, he said, if you are experiencing a test that you've experienced before, you will continue to experience until you pass that test. What kind of vice or what kind of test are you dealing with that you keep experiencing? Hello, you haven't learned your lesson. Do you need to be more humble? Do you need to be more grateful? Do you need to be more loving? I pulled over, baby. I pulled over. Guys, I could go on and on. You're, you're, you're going to... Please do me a huge favor. If you're watching this video right now, please share it with somebody because in my business, um, in our business, I, I love people, right? I want to help everyone win because I know what it feels like. I know where I was two and a half years ago. I know what it feels like to be lost, dazed, confused, frustrated, having anxiety, feeling like the entire world is collapsing on your shoulders, it is not just about an objection. It is not just about a rebuttal. It is not about getting the right presentation. It, is, it, it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with you, with who you are. How do you grow you? Start with the Bible. You want some other books? What to say when you speak to yourself? What to say when you speak to yourself? That's probably the most fundamental book that will put you from where you are to where you truly want to be. Because everything that you're experiencing is a result of your words. Ah, uh, I just ain't lucky. Uh, this is, uh, this is going to be one of those days. And a lot of these things you're saying, you're not even realizing you're saying it. But guess what? You conditioned yourself from the age of however you old, old you are now or young you are now since you were born saying the same thing. So the minute somebody comes to you and says, what's going on, millionaire? You look at them like you're crazy. Hello, millionaire, what? I'm a hundredaire. I've never heard that before. So the minute you say, yes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, your mind goes back to all the years that you've been disempowering yourself and saying, you're full of it. No, you can't. No, you can't. You don't believe that. <laughs> anyway, I got to go. Um... Listen, I appreciate every single one of you. I love every single one of you. Uh, my prayer every single day is that every word that utters from my mouth on these videos, I'm able to apply in my life as well. So this is not me coming down on you and saying, I'm greater than thou. No, 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 no. This is me reflecting on my life and hoping that the lessons that I've been able to learn can impact somebody else's life as well. Please share this with at least three people. Please. Because they need to hear it as well. If you do so, we will see you at the top, but not from the top, because you deserve it. Have an incredible day, guys.